click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to this video we are with chapter 6 of microwave engineering where a family of microwave solid state devices we address along with a start for the microwave bipolar junction transistor the physical structure the various configuration of transistor the operating principles along with the amplification phenomena we have seen for the device and the use into the microwave engineering also with few of the problem solved we continued to the hetero junction type of the bipolar transistor and then switch to the field defect transistor in the previous video after completion of the knowledge of jfet we have solved a simple problem along with its current to voltage relationships known to so let us begin with the new topic in the family of microwave solid state devices called as metal semiconductor field effect transistors so here we begin with our topic metal semiconductor field effect transistor so as of now in the family of microwave transistors we initially had the bjt so we had the three different regions denoted as emitter base and collector with different widths and the configurations used to be npn type or pnp type so the middle portion the base was sandwiched between the two semiconductor types here so here p type is sandwiched between the ends and here n type is sandwiched between the two in case of fet so field defect transistor first of all the junction field defect transistor jfet we also have n channel that has been sandwiched in between the two p positive that means heavily doped the p type regions here so this is the representation of the junctions between the three types or the three layers of the semiconductor material on the another hand the p channel material is having the p semiconductor material sandwiched between the heavily doped n type material here so we represented it with the help of n positives here so we have learned the depletion type seen its current to voltage relationship the characteristic we can say now if we have the field effect transistor made up with the connection of metal with the semiconductor we have the corresponding fet called as mesfets here so the mesfets were originally developed by the shortkey here so initially the shortkey has invented the shortkey barrier potential what we know and when it was used in the case of field effect transistor this sub category or a family member to the fets was invented here now there are lot of advantages of using metal to semiconductor field effect transistors also most possibly in this particular case the metal to silicon semiconductor or metal to gallium arsenide material is utilized for the production of mesfets here now instead of having metal to silicon junction if we have metal to gallium arsenide material junction so that time it offers the high frequency so we can have a small signal amplified up to the range of the x band what we know that it is 8 gigahertz to that of 12 gigahertz so this is nothing but the microwave range hence the metal to gallium arsenide type of the metal semiconductor field effect transistors are very very popular along with the amplification to such operative frequency range it offers the low noise figure the power handling capacity associated with is also at the desired level so let us see a schematic with respect to a such type of mesfets here so as fets stand for the field effect transistor are having the unipolar operation with respect to the majority charge carriers also so the manufacturing here for the mesfet can be done with the help of epitaxial process or the ion implantation so here in this particular diagram 
we start from the bottom here we have the semi insulating gallium arsenide substrate so which is the most important one and here a buffer layer is used and this is nothing but the again gallium arsenide but which is developed by the epitaxial process so in this case the end type epitaxially grown gallium arsenide material is shown here now it has contact with the metal at this particular place So that is why we call this particular device to be the metal semiconductor field defect transistor. So the field defect transistor requires the three terminals. The terminal that is allowing the flow of electron inside the device that it is nothing but the source here. The another terminal that at the another end will drain out all the charge carriers from the body of the semiconductor that it is nothing but the drain here and the third terminal that is operating the device in a controlled manner of voltage is called as gate terminal here so now in this particular diagram because of the controlled voltage from the gate terminal with that of the drain terminal we have the depletion layer inside the epitaxially grown gallium arsenide material so this is into the semiconductor region only as we have one side to be the metal here. So this is nothing but the pinch of voltage condition and this is the shaded region that it is depletion region. So the depletion region is occurred at the saturation condition here. The separations between the source and gate, gate to the drain are represented here with the dimensions of L. So this is L sub X S, simply L for the gate and L sub X D for the drain here. Now here we have from the buffer layer to the metal that it is height of the device, the dimensional measurement denoted by small a here. Whereas this particular dimension is represented by capital Z here. So this is the simple schematic diagram of the N-channel MESFET we can see here. Typically the MESFETs are available in terms of packages here. So the further coating and all the dimensions are described in the schematic in this particular diagram. So I give you the details by nomenclaturing this particular figure here. So here this is the package device that we show onto the left hand side. and on to the right hand side we have chip device here so here we start from the bottom this is 0 0.04 the dimension whereas this dimension is 0 0.050 times the dimension under consideration we have this one 0 0.070 0 0.20 we have 250 value for the dimension here and this is nothing but the terminal 3 gate in the package device similarly here we have the terminal 4 and this is nothing but the location of source here this is also another terminal that it is terminal 2 source we have the dimension by 0 40 here and this one is terminal 1 which is for drain case here so here we have the micro strip lines packages confined to the device here the micro strip lines we shall be learning into the subsequent chapter here so these are making connection to this particular device generating and handling the microwave energy
on semiconductor platform here. In the case of chip device here, where we have all the dimensions here in terms of inches for package device and for chip device in terms of here we have microns represented here. So we have 520 here. These values are 60, 96, 190. We have 130. Here it is 70 value. 65, 360 as we take the entire height here. This one, the width is 70 for this one. 620. This one is 50. 275. 110. And yes, 50 we have written here. So this is the representation of the gate terminal that will be controlling the device operation. Whereas this is the drain portion shaded and this is the source portion that has been shaded in this particular portion here. So as we know in the case of JPET that we have the two junctions into the use. So for source to get we make the reverse kind of biasing and for drain to source we have the forward biasing further here. So now here it is the same case as we proceed with the MESFETs also. So here we have the symbol for the device here along with the circuitry and this is the simple schematic diagram here. So again here we have semi insulating gallium arsenide substrate. This is the N type gallium arsenide that has been epitaxially grown here and this is for the contact to that of the metal here and here we take the three axis y axis for this dimension x axis for this dimension z axis for this dimension intersecting into the origin here so the source terminal gate terminal drain terminal having the pinch of potential achieved with the depletion region and the length measurement into the a this into the z and these are the diffusion lens into the source, into the gate and into the drain here. So correspondingly here we show drain to source potential applied like this VDS and the responsible drain current will be produced here. So this is the drain terminal, gate terminal and this is the source terminal at the end here. So this is nothing but the VGS. So same kind of biasing we extend from JPET to that of the MESFETs in this case. So as we operate the device in this particular fashion, here we get the IV characteristic, the current to the voltage here. So on the horizontal axis, we have the drain voltage measured in terms of volts here. On the vertical axis, we have the drain current denoted by ID in terms of milli amperes here. So we start with 0 then go for 5, 10, 15, 20 milliamperes, 25, 30 milliamperes, 35 milliamperes and the drain voltage can be in terms of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and beyond here. Now for the gate voltages that it is VGS is equal to 0 volt we obtain this curvature for minus of 0.5 volt we get this curvature or minus of 1.0 volt we obtain this line or minus of 1.5 volt we obtain this one and for minus of 2.0 and then minus of 2.5 we get a line that has the zero drain current here so this particular region where we have bending between the linear region and the saturation region we can say is nothing but the pinch of that can be seen into this IV characteristics. Now having the mathematical representation for the transconductance into the device operation we express the transconductance GM as the ratio of differential of drain current with respect to the differential of drain voltage gate voltage here provided the drain voltage VD is at a constant value here. 
so here as this is the transconductance it can be measured in terms of moles here further the pinch of condition can be expressed with the help of the pinch of voltage denoted by vp so for it we shall be making the use of poisson's equation so according to the poisson's equation we have the second order derivative of the voltage with respect to the y dimension here which is given by minus the charge density with respect to the volume divided by epsilon s computed as minus q into nd divided by epsilon s this is equal to minus q into nd divided by epsilon r into epsilon s here so let the transconductance equation can be equation number one and from the poisson's equation we have equation number two the meaning of the various parameters as like the row representing the volume charge density in terms of coulomb per meter cube then nd the concentration of the electrons in terms of per meter cube for the si system of units then for the permittivity of the medium in terms of the dielectric constant epsilons and further are the same as we switch from jfet to that of the mesfet here now while making the integration of the previous equation number two two times as we have it Poisson's equation of second order differential equation and application of the boundary condition at y equal to a gives us equation number two gives us vp the pinch of potential the pinch of voltage is equal to q times nd into a square divided by twice of epsilon s so this is of course in terms of volts here so i outline the formulation obtained for the pinch of voltage of the metal semiconductor field effect transistor here small a is nothing but the height of channel so initially it is assumed in terms of the mks or the si system of units meters here so this completes the understanding of metal semiconductor field effect transistor in the next lecture we shall be having the understanding more cleared by practicing a simple problem on mesfets here i hope you enjoy learning the microwave engineering subject for more information and the details you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you